What's up everybody, my name is Dwight and welcome back to GeForce Garage. We brought back our 1070 Ti rig for another upgrade, this time an aesthetic one. We're going to show you how to etch a design into glass. To etch the glass, we're going to be using something called Armor Etch, which you can find online for fairly cheap. Now this stuff only works on tempered glass, so if your computer case has an acrylic side window, it's not going to work, but you can try sandblasting or another method like that. But the H500P does have a tempered glass, so that's what we're going to be going with. Now for the stencil, if you don't have an in-home vinyl cutter like the Silhouette Cameo, you can go to a local printing shop to get your stencil cut out for you. Just make sure that it is on stencil material and not vinyl because it's a little bit thicker and it's going to withstand and stick better for when you etch your design. So let's get into it. We're going to be creating our own stencil using the Silhouette Cameo. And since we already have our logo ready, we can just drag it into the program, select an area, and tell it to trace it. If it doesn't trace the whole image, play around with the threshold until it sees all of it. The red outline is what will be cut. After we get our logo ready, Silhouette recommends putting your stencil on this cutting mat. So cut out your stencil to size and place it on. Just make sure to work out all the bubbles. Now that our cutting mat is ready, we can preload it into the vinyl cutter and go back to our program. Here we need to make sure our design is centered and double check that it fits on our cutting mat. Then we send it off to the machine and wait about five minutes for it to cut it out. Once it's done cutting your stencil, you'll need to weed out all the pieces you want to etch. Be mindful of the letters that have pieces in them, like R, A, or O. You don't want these to move from their original spot. So peeling out all these tiny little lines is going to take me forever. So I prepared a stencil earlier today just to save us a little bit of time. But let's pretend that this is done and I'll show you how to use transfer paper. Before you start, it's a good idea to cut down your stencil to an easier size to work with. Once you do, take a piece of transfer paper and cut it to size. When placing the transfer paper, make sure to apply a decent amount of pressure since this will keep your design straight and together. Finally, take the stencil and paper off the cutting mat. After peeling off the backing of your stencil, take your time placing it so it's level with the glass. You can use a squeegee or something similar to help push out all the air bubbles and make sure your stencil stays down. When taking the transfer paper off, take your time and try to go perpendicular to the design. If you go too fast and pull up the stencil, you can just put the transfer paper back down and apply pressure back onto that part and try pulling it back up. Now that the stencil is down, you can put tape around the edges just to make sure that no etching paste gets on any other part of the glass. Before you open the bottle, be sure to put on gloves because this stuff is not something you want on your hands. It's important to go heavy with this cream because you want full coverage. Anything that's left too thin won't etch as much as the rest and will come out uneven. If you're worried it didn't etch enough or need to do more, leave on the stencil and just do a second coat. Now we wait about 15 minutes. After that, we need to wash it off with some warm water, making sure to wipe it away from the exposed glass just to avoid it etching anything we don't want. And then for the last two steps, we peel off our stencil, being careful not to scratch the glass, and then we give it one more wipe with some glass cleaner just to remove fingerprints or any adhesive. Well, there you guys go. Under 20 minutes and under $20, you can really enhance the look of your PC. If you have any other ideas that we could do to upgrade our 1070 Ti rig, please leave a comment down below. And if you guys enjoyed this type of video, be sure to hit that subscribe button, and we'll see you for the next one.